friends. Welcome to your mat. Welcome to another yoga class. So this will be, um, we'll, we'll start with some like uh, chest opening and stuff, and then we'll go into some lunge salutations and we'll work up to camel pose, which is a really big heart opener, back bend, something I haven't really enjoyed over the years, but you know, it's one of those poses you make friends with and then it feels freaking amazing if you've got the right alignment. So right alignment equals a lot more freedom, a lot more space in your poses. Um, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube, uh, at Generation Yoga. You're either there now or finding me through our Facebook group or, or somewhere else. That helps me. So please subscribe. Um, and let's get started. So two blocks, um, and a blanket will be helpful. Uh, a bolster, a couple pillows. Um, because we're going to start in supported fish. So how that's going to look is one block horizontal at your bra line or bro line or underneath your shoulder blades. This can also be vertical and it can also be on any height you want. So if you're super flexible and bendy, you might want the very tallest height. Otherwise, just pick the one that works for you. Start with your feet down and your knees bent. And then your choices here are either gonna be um, interlacing fingers behind your skull, elbows wide. And you'll slide your chin back like it's on a railroad track and then slowly curl. But we're gonna be here for a few minutes. So do you wanna hold your head like this? If you do, all the weight of your head comes into your hands. Your neck is supported, close your eyes. So I'm gonna take another block and put it underneath my head on the lowest setting. So that gives me still a little bit of a throat opener, opening up the throat chakra. And I have support for a neck that is typically unhappy. So find that. It should be comfortable. Now, if it's too hard with the block, you either grab a bolster or take a blanket and put it over the block for a little padding. Let your shoulders fall down toward your mat. Just let gravity take over. And then you decide with your legs. You keep them here. You turn your knees in, legs long or hip opener. Soles of feet together, knees wide. I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Close your eyes, take your arms out nice and wide. Connect to your breath. Notice how your body feels right now. So the state of your body, basically a scan from toes to the crown. Where can you release a little tension? Maybe that's just a organically, naturally bringing your awareness to a place that is holding a lot of tension. Just doing that in itself can help you surrender or you send your breath to those places. Can you truly let the blocks hold you, support you? I know for me, I go through my days without asking for help and support. And right now during this pandemic, I need it more than ever. So I'm learning. And in your yoga practice, let your props be the, that support, that guide to deepen you into a pose or to bring the floor to you. Whatever makes the asana practice more accessible is what we want.
Notice where your breath is in your body. If it's up in your throat or chest, maybe you feel a little anxious. Send your breath down to your belly. And as you inhale, blow your belly up like a balloon. And as you exhale, belly softens, belly relaxes toward the earth. Inhale, expand your belly. Exhale, relax your belly. And a few more rounds like that. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Something you can cultivate on your mat and take with you off your mat. Something positive could be just one word, a mantra, a short statement. Intention can be what, what do you want more of? Patience, compassion, vulnerability, support, help, openness. What is it for you today? Inhale. Exhale. Slowly roll off to one side. Maybe you need to bend your knees. And then just kind of look where you're going. Nothing graceful here. Just coming off to one side. And then notice how your back feels and your chest. Just from doing that for a few minutes. Maybe that's all you have time for today. And that could be enough. And now flip to your belly. Move your props at the top of your mat. And we'll open up the shoulders. And then we'll get to some flowing. So come on down to your belly. Take your left arm out like a letter T. Legs can be wide. Palm faces down. Your right hand is next to you on, um, next to your rib, rib cage on the right. And then you're going to press into your right hand and slowly roll on to your left hip. Maybe you're able to roll like me, maybe your forward a little bit to take the pressure off this. You might bring your knees into the fetal position. To add on, you're gonna bend your top knee, step your foot behind the left leg. Some of you may flip all the way onto your back and bend both knees and root both feet down. I am not there yet. So the shoulder has lots of flexibility, just be mindful or mobility. It's also very complex and we want to go easy. If your head is lifted off the floor, prop it up with a block or a towel. One more inhale. Exhale, roll to your belly. And we'll switch sides. Right arm goes out like a half letter T, palm down. Left hand presses into the mat, roll onto the right hip. Bend the upper knee and try to come to the sole of the foot. Close your eyes, relax your face. Inhale, exhale, good, come back to your belly. Take your uh, hands out wide, fingertips root down on your mat. Legs are wide like a letter B. Tuck your chin toward your chest. Lift your armpits up to your ears. 
and then draw the head of the arm bones back so your chest automatically has more space. And then press the earth away, come on up. Inhale, exhale, look over your right shoulder, bend your left elbow. Inhale, come up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, bend your right elbow. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, release. Plant the hands, downward facing dog. Strong, straight arms. You can have your dog be nice and long, so if your heels are touching down, perhaps you walk your feet back even a little bit more. Bend your knees a little bit, pubic bone presses between the upper thigh, tailbone lifts, then soften your heels down. Lift your armpits up toward your ears. Draw your shoulder blades together, melt your heart. And then you're just kind of wrapping your upper uh, arms forward. Press down into the finger pads and the fingers. Inhale, lift heels. Exhale, bend knees, little steps or a couple hops to the top of your mat, forward fold. Hinging at your hips. Shake your head no. Nod yes. You can grab hold of opposite elbows. Sway a little side to side. Good, release your fingertips down. Inhale, lift the torso, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands up your legs. Nice flat back, come all the way up to Nasana. Settle down into your feet. Bring down to all four corners. Fix your hair, adjust your clothes. <laughs> Back to your intention. All right, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold. Inhale, long spine, look forward. Exhale, step, right foot back, back knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bring your hands down, downward facing up. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, low plank, chaturanga or to the belly. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend upper knee, open up hip, maybe take some big circles with the knee. Couple one way, couple the other. Good, right leg extends up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, hold for five, three, and one, step your foot through your hands, back knee comes down, inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your mat, lift back knee, back thigh, step forward, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, lift up, lift chest, lift gaze. Take your left wrist with your right hand, sway to your right. Inhale, come through center, press your upper thighs back. Grab the right wrist, sway to your left. Inhale, center, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, left foot steps back, back knee comes down. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, hands come down, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift left leg. Exhale, open up the knee, stack the hip. Big circles with the knee, a couple on each side. Good, 
Left leg extends up. Step your foot, or no, knee to nose, come forward. Can't forget that core. Left leg up, knee to nose, hold, press the earth away, pull the belly up for five. Three. And one, step your foot through your hands, back knee comes down, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands come down, lift back knee, back thigh, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, reach high. Interlace fingers behind the base of the skull, elbows wide, press upper thighs back, lift sternum, lift chin, elbows wide. Lift gaze. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at hips, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. This time, high lunge, step your right foot back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Sway to the left. Bend deeper into the front knee. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, hands come down, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward plank. Exhale, take your push up. Come to the belly. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, come on up. Grab your left wrist, inhale, reach. Exhale, sway to the right. Bend into your front knee. Inhale, release, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, lift chest, lift gaze, palms touch. Exhale, hinge at hips, fold. Inhale, look forward, long spine. Exhale, left foot steps back, high lunge, rise up. Good, hands come down, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, push up or to your belly. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step your foot through your hands. Crescent lunge, come on up. One inhale. One exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. <sighs> inhale, reach high. This time, interlace fingers, release your pointer finger. Squeeze your arms toward your ears, press your upper thighs back, big breath in. Sway to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, sway to left. Inhale, center. Release the bind. And then slowly look up. Lift sternum, lift gaze, press thighs back. Exhale, hands in front of heart, hinge at hips, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, high lunge, reach your arms up. Cross your arms behind your low back, grab hold of opposite elbows, bend into your front knee, hinge forward at your torso. Good, so you want your pelvis to stay tilting forward here a bit. Left hip peels back and then carve your tailbone down. Maybe take the gaze up, lift your sternum, pull your arms down. Good, come back forward, release, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, plank. Exhale, you choose your vinyasa. Inhale, low cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step foot through hands. Inhale, reach up. 
Good, and then cross your forearms behind your back the opposite way. Bend into your front knee. Hinge forward at your hips, peel the right hip back. Good. And then carve the tailbone down, nice strong core. Gaze is forward, pull the forearms down, lift sternum, lift heart, lift gaze. Good, release the elbows, reach up. Hands come down, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, reach all the way up, hands touch. Exhale, hinge at hips, fold. And inhale, lift halfway. Last round, exhale, left foot steps back, arms reach up, one breath. Hands come down, downward dog. Shift forward plank, chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step foot through hands. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale, hands down, forward fold, top of mat. Bend knees, sit hips back, chair. Inhale, lace fingers behind your lower back. Draw knuckles down, shoulders down away from ears. Tailbone tucks just a touch, sit back. One inhale. Exhale, fold, keep the bind. Shake your head no. Nod yes. Good, release the bind down. Step your right foot back, back knee down. So we're in a low lunge, hands walk up to the knees, and then we're just gonna hold this. So we're gonna start really prepping for camel. Maybe your front knee comes past the ankle a touch, your back knee slides back. You wanna be on the bottom of the back thigh versus on the kneecap. So perhaps you want a blanket, just breathe. You can interlace your fingers, press down into your thigh to leverage a tall spine. Okay, straight forward, close your eyes, maybe test your balance. Come back to the intention that you set. Good, open your eyes. Take your right hand down inside the front foot. I have a feeling I'll need a block today for a little height, so I'm gonna take my right hand on the block. I'm gonna bend my back knee and reach for the foot. So if I had been down here, there's no way I'm getting my foot today, even though I just did this pose yesterday. And that's okay, balance changes every day. It's about 11 o'clock for me, so I just haven't really warmed up. A couple more rounds of breath, pulling the foot toward the body and then kicking the foot into the hand. You'll feel a stretch in the front of the shoulder of the deltoid. You can look back. Slowly release the foot and then keep the legs as they are. Squeeze everything to the midline. Take your left hand to your left hip, reach your right arm up, and then take the gaze down to your back foot. Your left hand might slide down your back thigh. Reach for the outside of the thigh for leverage. Inhale, reach up, exhale, look down. Good. Slowly unwind. 
Lift back knee, lift back thigh, step forward, forward fold. Ah, notice the difference between the sides. Take a moment to reflect. How does your body feel right now? And other side, left foot steps back, back knee down. Walk your back knee back so you're not right on the kneecap. Use a blanket if needed. Be comfortable, that's okay. Interlace fingers, palms press down on the thigh to lift the chest. Nice tall spine, gaze forward and breathe. Close your eyes, trust your inner drishti, gaze, your inner teacher. One more inhale, exhale. Good, this is my tight side, so I'm definitely grabbing a block. Left hand on the tall setting of my block, back knee bends, right hand reaches for the foot. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. I'm just barely there. And then perhaps you twist a little bit. Pulling foot to body, kicking foot to hand, stretch the front of the right shoulder, take the gaze back. One more inhale, exhale, release the back foot. And then right hand to right hip, left arm reaches up, Sink into your front knee, take your gaze back. Right hand can slide down the back thigh or grab the outside of the thigh for leverage. Take your gaze down, breathe. Good, slowly unwind. And step back to downward facing dog. This will be our counter pose. Those back bends, lift up the tailbone, soften heels down, strong straight arms. Good, and then bring your knees down to the earth and grab a block and maybe a blanket for your knees. Okay, so we'll start with, I'm gonna face you. You can bring um, a block by your right side. So take your right fingertips down to the block and your left arm reaches up and over. So you might walk the block out a little bit, just looking for a juicy side stretch here on the left side. Take your gaze down or up. Breathing in to the muscles between the ribs. And then inhale, come up. Switch the block to the left side, come to the fingertips. Inhale, reach up with the right arm. Exhale, lengthen, sway. Gaze can be up or down. Good, slowly come up. All right, so grab one block if you have it. This is not necessary, I'm just gonna do this. Place it on the narrow setting between your upper thighs. Tuck your toes. We're gonna do a few rounds here going deeper every single time. So camel prep, just take hands to hips, squeeze the block, press the block back. So inner thighs squeeze together and back, widening 
the back of the pelvis, and then tuck the tail just a touch. It's got this nice, strong core. Lift your armpits up to yours. Inhale. And then exhale, head of the arm bones back. So you've got lots of space in your chest. And then take your hands to the side hips. Keep squeezing block. And keep the shoulders drawing down. Lift the sternum, lift the chest, look up, squeeze block. Your hips will kind of press forward naturally, but you're still pressing the block. You're gonna take in breath where you can. And then come back up. Remove the blocks, untuck toes, and sit. <sighs> Notice your heart rate. Come back to slow, steady inhales and exhales. All right, so now, keeping toes tucked, your choice on the block. Squeeze thighs together. So hands can start at uh, hips. You can take camel prep again like we just did. Lift sternum. Press thighs back. Squeeze block. Good. And then another good support for your neck is jut your chin out and then slide it back. And then take the gaze up. Maybe one hand reaches back to the heel, maybe the other. Good. Squeeze scapula together and down the back. Bottom of the ribs toward your navel. Squeezing block. Pressing thighs back. Breathe. And then slowly come up. Release block, untuck toes, and come down. So the last round, we'll try to keep toes untucked. I'm still going to keep the block in between my thighs. It just reminds me of correct alignment. That's a good thing. Um, or you stay with the first round, especially if you've done, never done camel, ustrasana. So one more. Toes are untucked, taking my block. It's like that pest container. You don't want the pest coming forward. Heels face up. You would press down into the pinky toes. Squeeze block, press thighs back. Armpits up to ears, head to arm bones back. Good, let the fingertips dangle this time. Chin slides back. So your jaw is like on a railroad track. You can take your fingertips here, draw the bottom part of your sternum down as you lift the top of your sternum up. And then maybe you're able to touch the heels. Squeeze block, press thighs back. Good, staying with my alignment, with my neck. Squeeze block. Lift chest. And then to come up, Squeeze block and lift. Whew, that's probably the deepest I've ever gone into that pose. Sit back, rest hands on your thighs, close your eyes and just take that in. Good, open your eyes. I'm just gonna keep my blanket here couple counter poses and we'll wrap it up. Sit on the edge of my blanket so my pelvis tilts forward and then bend left knee, come to the top of my left foot, slide my right leg back. So for this variation, the left knee is extended right from the left hip. Hinging at hips, walk hands forward. Maybe grab hold of the foot, maybe not. And then come up and switch. Bending right knee, turn 
the foot down, slide your left hip back, toes up, hinge at hips, walk fingertips forward. So if we don't hinge at our hips, we're tucking our pelvis under and we're rounding our spine just to get this foot, but it's not stretching anything. I feel no stretch, I just feel rounding. So now the stretch in the legs, you hinge at your hips, pelvis tilts forward, props help here. Grab the foot, perhaps. Sternum stretches toward the foot. Good, and then straighten the right leg forward, bend the knees, and come on down to your back, grab a block. And root down into your feet. Lift your hips, supported bridge. So the block goes underneath the sacrum. So it's not on the low, what we think of as the low back above the hips, it's lower than the hips. You can walk your heels a little closer toward your shoulders, shimmy your shoulders together. Maybe your fingertips reach for the ankles or interlace the fingers past the block. Lift your chin away from your chest a little bit, gaze straight up or close your eyes. If you have the bind of the ankles, release, press into the feet, lift hips, and bring the booty down. Draw your knees to your chest, rock a little side to side, and the knees together. Roll the knees to the left, gaze to the right, arms out like a letter T or cactus arms to help add a little weight to this right shoulder. Knees through center and over to the other side. Gaze to the left. Good, knees through center. Curl up into a tight little ball. Give yourself a big hug and take a moment for gratitude, for your breath, for your practice, and for your healthy body that's able to practice yoga. Big breath in and release Shavasana. Take up lots of space on your mat. Arms can be overhead, who cares what you look like right now, just feel good. Like any micro adjustments you need and let the earth hold you. Relax your forehead. Space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, chest, belly rises and falls without a lot of effort. Hips relax, thighs spin out. Relax your 
Relax your shins and let your feet fall to either side. Surrender. Come back to the moment and your awareness to your breath. Empty out all your breaths so you can take in the biggest inhale you've taken in all day. Hold the breath at the top, sip in a little bit more air. And exhale, release. Draw your knees to your chest one at a time. You'll come up to a seat, whatever way works for you. Just keep your eyes closed. And once you're in your seat with your eyes closed, Take a moment and notice, how do you feel now compared to when you started your practice? Heavy in your sits bones, tall spine, confidence just pours out from your chest. Lifting up from the crown of the head, fold your hands together in front of the heart, Bring your intention back to mind, see it and feel it in your body. What does it look like? How does it feel? To be more patient, to be more compassionate, to be more fun. See you next time on your mat. Namaste.